guys, it's Ifter, and I'm back with Call of Cthulhu. Where we seem to have gotten away from the voice of the Leviathan? That won't last long. Hi. Clearly, Sarah Hawkins. How are you doing? Doing pretty good. Hey, could you get rid of my wonky vision? You have, like, a cure for that, and your... Your elder gods have a cure for that. I'd appreciate it. Either that, or just want Pierce to, you know... Not make me want to puke. With puke vision. You are trapped. Great. Keep going. <laughs> My God. This way. Stand up. Walk. Why am I talking to myself? Why am I named Truth? Is somebody there? Hey, who are you? Uh, where am I? Good question, Al. No, I don't have time to go back. Yeah, yeah. I must go to Sarah. Do you, do you need to? Must you? What's this? See the little dot? The miraculous catch was a trap. Leviathan wanted to be found. Okay. Oh, hello. To our fallen crew members. They have given their lives for a greater purpose. The last name added is that of Charles Hawkins. I'm willing to bet that they killed all the survivors of the miraculous catch. What is this? This doesn't look good. Oh, that's me! Oh, that's me! That's good, ain't it, Pierce? Aren't you happy that's us? This is real. I saw you dead, as I see you now. Am I crazy, too? You survived. Don't you understand? You couldn't die. You will stay alive until you fulfilled your destiny. No! Look at me. Look at me, Pierce. Dare tell me that you still don't believe it. We're definitely doing the middle one. When I was eight, my little brother fell from the apple tree. He was bleeding. I took care of him. That very day, I decided to become a doctor. I never reneged on my oath. That's what led me to Darkwater. The people here needed me. Mm -hmm. I died trying to save one of them. Help me give them a second chance. Embrace the power of this sleeping god. You're out of your mind. It's not just your life that is at stake. Many men and women have sacrificed themselves for this moment. Why are you back? Holden! You will not deprive them of their hope of a better life. I saw what Leviathan did to Fuller. We will all die like him. His life was written well before it started. It was not predetermined that he lived to see the call. But you? Yes. It is your destiny. I was painting. The 
investigation. I understand now. Like you, I was called here by a higher power. Yes. All your choices had the sole purpose of preparing you for the final decision. I must make a choice. Not just make a choice. The right choice. Mm -hmm. Not yet, but soon. We have one more thing to accomplish. What is it? I must take you to Sarah Hawkins, our oracle. Sarah, I feel her calling me. Let us not wait any longer. Not yet. You have one last thing to accomplish. No, please. Do you understand what it is? She has already fulfilled her mission. Worry about your own. No. No. No one can fight with me. Neither them, nor you. Okay then. Shut up! Silence! Stop! Go away! Stop! dead. There's nothing you can do. Just give in. What? What was that? Was it? Was he making the Nicolas Cage reaction what face? Sarah. I must go to Sarah. She is the Oracle. She will know what to do. Okay, and you know where she is. Because, uh, last time I checked, that was the problem we were having. Because you it didn't. It comes back to the Scylla. It was where it all began. I definitely don't know where Sarah is. Uh, actually, she's probably further down this way. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Come on. God, he moves so slow. Yeah, here we are. Okay. Why must we have wobble vision for this whole thing? Why? Do I go on the boat or do I go this way? I guess I could check out the boat. There's nothing here. Okay, fine. I thought they were actually going to give me an option for something there. They did not. After a final confrontation, Pierce must go to Alabaster Point, where Sarah Hawkins is supposed to be waiting for him. There he must make decisions that could change the destiny of the world. Of the world. Cool. Glad you're just spelling it all out for me, huh? I like I like Tentacle Man here on the right. Uh, where are we going? A lot of green. A lot of green. Go oh, thank God it just. Oh, it just cleared up. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Oh, thank you. That's so much better. Okay, um, I meant that in a very, um, Reality, as you know, relative sense. Here. None of this makes sense. Go. She is waiting. Yeah, okay. This is actually pretty cool, I gotta say. 
as a uh, as a design. This is pretty neat. Are you really going to make me walk up this entire thing? Are you really? What have they done to me? You are, aren't you? Oh, you are. Oh. Hey, Fuller. Well, where Fuller. were you? You died in front of my eyes. Don't jump to conclusions. Is there not the tiniest spark of a scientific mind inside of that detective skull of yours? What abject substance did you use to turn her into an empty shell? Abject substance? The serum extracted from Leviathan's oil bestows the power of life. To me, my body is nothing but the mortal vessel of my conscience. To you, it contains more answers and secrets than your insignificant mind can grasp. Mm-hmm. Cool. That was a bunch of nonsense speak. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Mm -hmm. That is not you. Not anymore. Not since your disappearance on the docks. Ah, detective. So easy to fool you. So eager to rush to the rescue of a woman in distress. You won't make me regret having tried to save people. I did what I could. Even for Colden. Your efforts to change your destiny although in vain make you worthy of the fate that is yours. The day has come. You will be asked to choose. Who did I save? Who did I try to save? I kind of wish Cat was here, you know? The person that I actually gave a first aid kit to? Hey, bud. What up? You took everything from me. Wife. Life. Destiny. You forsook your right to a normal life. The moment you chose power over humanity. No one wants to see such an unbearable sight. You don't have the slightest idea of what you speak, of what I've been through. I have sacrificed my life to the one who sleeps. My marriage, my family, my own flesh. Why didn't Sarah choose me? Why is it your damn face on her painting? Please with the gushy sounds. Hello. Me. But you already know it. I can see uh, that you will make the right choice. I don't know. I don't know. Who are you? Your fear of the unknown and your stupid pride cloud your judgment. Quit lying to yourself and embrace your destiny. It's not cowering that brought you those medals. None of this is real. Trust your guts. If nothing's real, what are you? I am a projection of your mind. What remains of that instinct that pulled you out of the trenches. Don't listen to them. They're too dangerous for your tired mind. What? 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 What was that? Why am I literally talking to abstract concepts in the forms of me, of truth and reality? Why? Why are Why are these things happening? It's gonna, it's gonna keep clap. Ooh, ooh, that looked cool. Oh, that looks real cool. I'm almost there. Oh good, we actually skipped up most of the way. I think. Either that or it seemed a lot bigger from the bottom. Uh, hello cultists. Hi. 
Are you guys ready for Burning Man? Oh, okay. You pull out your lighters and start waving them if you got them. Hey guys! What up? Yeah, that's right, make way. Make way for me! Here you are at last, Truth Seeker. She was waiting for you. You were waiting for me. Yes. When I finally discovered the truth, I knew you would come. All this time I was fighting it, afraid of what I might discover, but I was afraid of myself. It's coming. What did you learn? <laughs> Listen to me, Edward Pierce, as I will deliver the truth. Will you? Can I? Game? Game? Hello? Uh. I have seen things. Strange and horrifying, but always true. Will you trust my words? Yes. One man, one man only prepared by the trials and revelations, holds the power to change the world. Because I saw you in the dreams I share with my God. I recognize you for what you are. Really? A truth seeker. One of the rare humans who is able to perceive fragments of his mind. Hmm. Yes, yes. I feel the truth in your words. Because it was written. Or, as I like to see it, painted on the canvas of fate. Pierce, help me! Oh, God. Don't kill Algernon, please. Leave him be. Why did you bring him here? Well, you got some echoey boots there, friend. Thanks. You're you are so necessary here. What? Perform the counter ritual. I will perform the ritual. Or sacrifice oneself. Let's do it. Do it. Dedicated to the founder of the Chaosium, the Grand Shaman of Gaming, Greg Stat. That was it. What? I mean, okay. Granted, I shot myself. I, I didn't expect much other than death. But I was still expecting cutscene. Which... I, I didn't expect just a gunshot and cut to credits. What? Is that it? It's really it? No, something here. They're scraping off private investigator. Cause I shot myself. 
That's very graphic. What? Is that supposed to creep me out because she painted that? How? I'm. Is it just? Is this at the last point? If it is, I'll just make another decision and we'll see what happens. If it's not, then I won't. And we'll just call it quits there. I kind of want to leave this open so other people could play it if they want to. Uh, I kind of like to do that when I can. Alright, cool. We can actually do this here. I'll show off one more. How's that? And then I'll leave whatever's left for you guys. There's a lot of the choices we could have made during the game. I mean, Algernon might not even be here in another ending. We didn't have to shoot Bradley. We could have saved Mitchell. I mean, there's a lot of things we could have done differently. Here you are at last. You were yes, I'll but I what did listen. I have seen things. Will you yeah. one because I think Pierce, help me. Let's perform the counter ritual. No, my only, my only question is, we've never spoken with Algernon about doing this counter ritual. How did I know I was supposed to run onto the pedestal at that exact moment? We've never ever discussed this with Algernon. How would he? Whatever. Dedicate, okay, so. That's probably gonna do a quick thing at the end. All right. Oh, I'm in an asylum. Oh boy, great. And let me guess, that's Dr. Fuller. Somehow, it is, oh my God. We doubled the dosage as you asked us to, Doctor. Good, thank you. We shot Fuller. Whatever. I don't. I don't know. I. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that ending. It, it was okay. Also, I like how it's called Call of Cthulhu. There's Cthulhu. But this game literally never deals with Cthulhu. We dealt with the Le Leviathan and the Shambler, and that's about it. But yeah, that was Call of Cthulhu. There's another ending I could do there, but I kind of want to leave some things for you guys to explore if you pick this game up. It's an alright game. Um, the stats seemed really important early on, and then about halfway through the game, they seemed to stop mattering a little bit. I continued to pick up medical books and cult books. There was a thing for cult at the end. There was one last option for that. I don't really know what influenced anything. I mean, I picked all of the 
whatever weird language ones I could see, and that didn't seem to really do anything. Also don't know what the sanity requirements for those were. They didn't really make that clear. Uh, the story of this is kind of all over the place. And I guess we're supposed to be, you know, in the mind of Pierce, so as things get crazy, the game's supposed to make less sense. I don't know if that really works gameplay-wise. Because I don't really have a sense of what in the heck was going on. For, I mean, other than the obvious. People found the catch, they ate the flesh. Became immortal, I guess. And... So that was it, and they're trying to summon Leviathan. I guess. Who may have been Cthulhu. I don't even know. But yeah, um, it was an okay game. It was alright. I don't even know how I would describe this game because it's got a lot of different elements. It's a choose your own adventure, but there's not... I guess it's a puzzle game? I guess? This game's a hard one to pin down. But it was, it was fun. It was fun enough for what it was. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you guys did think of this whole playthrough, of this game anyway, in the comments. Uh, if you did like the video, please leave a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd appreciate you guys doing so. And uh, share this whole playthrough or this video or channel, whatever you want, with friends and family if you could. That'd be cool too. And uh, until next time, everybody, take care.